A tractor trailer fuel truck had its tanker disconnect from the cab unit on the entrance ramp to I 790 westbound this afternoon, creating a hazardous material situation. It resulted in road closures and the evacuation of several North Utica businesses. Our eyewitness news reporter Lauren Brill is at the scene now with the latest updates. Lauren. Jamie, the Big Lots Plaza and the North Utica Shopping Center are both open as of 4 o'clock. And right now, the only closure is the on ramp to West 790. And earlier, I spoke with Sergeant Michael Curley about what the community should be concerned about when it comes to this hazmat issue. We've been told at this point that it is diesel fuel from a tractor trailer in which it had a trailer that somehow came unhitched from its tractor. So we're still determining exactly how the accident occurred or what, in fact, is the level of the spill. As of right now, officials say there is no concern of the spill posing any airborne harm. It's really on the ground. There is some kind of odor when the wind, when the wind breezes, but I think that's more so just the odor of the spill rather than any kind of condition that would harm anyone in the nearby area. Circumstances surrounding the spill are still being investigated, but at this point, no injuries are reported. And Sergeant Curley says that there will be no additional road closures, but if possible, avoid the North Utica area. What's closed now is going to be kind of problematic for traffic at the business hour, rush hour, and things of that nature. So we ask that everyone please avoid the North Utica area in its entirety if you can. If you're going to, please come westbound on Herkimer Road towards the Four Corners. Do not use North Genesee Street at this time. And right now I'm with Utica Fire Marshal Gerald Foster. So to start off, can you just tell us a little bit about where the situation is at as of right now? Yes, uh, the crews were called in from uh, Chief Fingersall. He called in all the agencies that needed to be respond to this particular hazmat incident. And as you can see over my shoulder, um, it's actually been mitigated already. The only issue now is the cleanup of the road work. So DLT is actually here. They're going to work with Egan, and they're going to pick up any remaining spill that was been absorbed through Zipzorb. So right now, the Route 790 ramp westbound is closed to all traffic at this time. But we did open up Leland Ave, so we should be good to go with as far as area traffic. And do you have any idea as to when this will be totally done for those coming home from work or going to work tomorrow morning? I do, but I can't say it on the air only because Egan's going to have that, that actual um, time frame. I'm not sure if they have to bring in heavy tankers or anything else, um, bins to put this um, zip zorb in because it is a chemical. So I'm not sure. Uh, we can get that time frame for them a little later. And is there any worry about this chemical? I know Sergeant Curley said earlier that there shouldn't be, but is there any developments with that? Uh, yes. So, so there's going to be no hazard to the public at all. This is a diesel spill fuel, a diesel fuel spill, and for that matter, the zip absorb kind of absorbs it all, and then we just have to get rid of the zip absorb with the diesel fuel that's been absorbed. So there's going to be no, no. Once the road is open, there's going to be no hazards to any general public. Or, or any type of vehicles or anything like that. Well, thank you for the update, Gerald, and we'll continue to keep you updated on this situation later tonight at 10 and 11 on Eyewitness News. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Lauren. You can stay with Eyewitness News on air tonight at 10 and 11 and online at CNY homepage for updates on that situation as more information becomes available.